Hey guys, can you comment as your Tilbury judge, your jury, and your analyst? So today I bring to you my top five teams for the Element Cup Remix. I will accidentally say Little Jungle Cup Remix during this, during the teams because I forgot it's Element Cup Remix, not Little Jungle. <laughs> this sh <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why? Why? Another Little Cup? Well, you know, it's not bad if you've been, if you have Little Cup mods built because literally outside of building a Dupider, you probably still have all of these mods built of previous Little Cup if you're that addicted to Pogo PvP. Or if you spent, you just have a crap ton that's like I do and you're just like chucking at everything. But before we get started, yes, this is my top five teams for the Element Cup, but as usual, it's my therapist mental health day today. As usual, you could skip this by going to the chapters. But for those of you that are interested, so, because Go Battle League is just literally a broken mess and no, it doesn't look like there's an end in sight as far as being fixed or anything like that. Let's talk about stress because y'all are probably stressed out of your brains. I definitely would because I wasted hundreds of battles trying to make legend just because of the fact that my freaking game doesn't like to work. Yay. But I just actually, I don't care about Legend for the rest of the season, especially since next week, literally next week, Scarlet and Violet comes out. So I can't wait to start creating content for Scarlet and Violet. I'll still do Pogo, I'll still do the Catch Cup Edition and whatnot, and then of course for next season, it's probably going to be interlude season or something like that. If not, it's, they're probably going to do some Scarlet and Violet thing, and then they're going to do some Pose, so mark that on there. But this is about stress. Four. All right, so therapist mental tip of the day. Stress is literally everywhere. So stress, everyone experiences stress in their lives, but what's stressful you might be same as stressful others. You must also have your own way of managing that stress. So certain psych central as usual, medical professional, mental health professionals always reviews articles before they're published. And stress is, li stress is the literal bare bone of mental illness. If you have no stress in your life, or if you're really good at managing your stress, nine times out of 10, you are not going to be very prone to getting really anxious or depressed, etc. So if life is good, everything else is pretty good. But if you everywhere and if you're good at managing it or you have to find being really good at managing stress just because that's life. So we have to continuously manage our stress so that we can live to see the next day. But this is a really great thing about stress and how it affects you and how long-term stress can actually, it's actually mental. There's actually long-term mental This is like, acute stress disorder and chronic stress dis and chronic stress so there are literal there's a lot of things that can stress you out and then like i mentioned with mental illness before if you watch my this for my therapist mental health this for a while mental illnesses can co-occur so you can have more than one mental illness simultaneously for example i have ptsd co-occurring with major depressive disorder so you could those two things can that's how mean mental illness is so take your mental health seriously look at this article and then this is the top five teams for the element cup remix without further ado let's get started all right first off we got slowpoke volpix and dupider slowpoke is your lead volpix is your safe switch you're gonna see volpix safe switch a lot because volpix and seal in my opinion are the two well, Vulpix Seal and Dupider are like the three main safe switches, mainly Vulpix and Dupider. So for this one, a lot of you probably like Slowpoke with Confusion or the conf or Confusion exec Execute. The reason why you don't want to use Execute this time around is just because with Dupider, you're, it's going to literally get torn through with Bug Bite. So Dupider is going to double super effect Bug Bite, Execute to death. That's why Slowpoke is still really good just because of Confusion. A lot of combinations are going to have an A for coverage, not a lot of bulk. This is a super fast move damage meta. So even if you use seal, chances are you're going to see a grass type at one point. Or if they don't have a grass type, it's going to be some sort of like confusion user or fast move user or razor. Well, razor leaf is grass. So the thing about Dupider versus Slowpoke though, even though Slowpoke is weak to bug bite, if you take a look at the two shield matchup in this league, it's actually, it's actually, so what happens here is that they have to give up one shield, but you can no shield this one. So what you can choose is choose to no shield. What you call it? No, no shield this one. Ah, stop. No, no shield that. Okay. There you go. So you can no shield this one. Oh no, don't shield it. So you know, when you use sandbox mode, it's actually really bad. Okay, there you go. So what you could do is you could break both shields and eat the second bubble beam. And then what happens is that you can send Vulpix in, get a little bit of extra energy, and then body slam the back row. So you could sack Slowpoke in the league against Dupider, 
and then send in Vulpix. Try to get a little bit, because Bug Bite isn't going to do a lot of damage. And it takes a couple of, but it's going to take... A, it's gonna take a few before you go down so you can get one or two extra and then send in Vulpix with a little bit of extra energy to body slam down with a little bit of chip damage from bug bite so that's your play against Upider. other than that slowpoke is able to two shield its way through a lot of random things like against bulbasaur of course grass is weak to poison fun fact though and then Vulpix. so Vulpix, bulbasaur it's able in the two shield confusion is able to rip through a lot of combinations and even if it loses it's not super bad as you see you could just give up slowpoke outright and then farm down with Vulpix with quick attack so that's the basic strategy so with Vol slowpoke give it up in the two shield scenario or it wins the two shield scenario like you see here against whooper you'll go down shields but like i mentioned you can you could just either give it up in the lead, farm around with Vulpix, or you can just have Slowpoke outright win in the two shield. It's up to you, but that's why Slowpoke is still good for this meta. Next up, we have Shadow Oddish, Vulpix, and Slowpoke. So the reason why Oddish is the number two Pokemon in this meta, well, Shadow Oddish, it can rip through so many things in the two shield. Like I mentioned to you, as far as bulk goes, you're not going to have a lot of bulk here, but this team has A for Kudgeon consistency. You're going to have two shields for Oddish, or you're going to have two shields for Slowpoke and Vulpix to close out. Or you're, go or you're just going to use up all your shields because you're going to rip through the lead. With Shadow Vulpix du versus Dupider, as you see here, Dupider actually loses in one turn. So unless you lag by losing a turn, ideally you should win this in the two shield, as you see here. So you could just totally, you're going to have one shield and then you're just going to rip through, your, you're going to rip through them. So, or what you can do is you can even give up Oddish and then do the same strat like I told you with Slowpoke. Give up Oddish. You can no shield this bubble beam right here. So no shield this one. And then what you can do is you send in Vulpix to tackle down. So Vulpix, you no shield this one. You come out with a shield unless they want to lose it. And then Vulpix farms down. So you don't have to shield the bubble beam in this instance. So give up Oddish, send in Vulpix, farm down. And then you have Vulpix and Slowpoke with to close out that's one option you can do but in the two shields shadow oddish actually you won't see you won't see literally these top three you might see a fomantis it's probably the worst thing you'll see but as you see fomantis loses the two shield just because shadow razor leaf shreds it even beats vulpix so if you see here again shadow oddish if you get vulpix so here's vulpix right here so if you see in the two shield Vul shadow oddish can actually just shred through vulpix like swiss cheese You'll go down both shields, but you'll outright win the lead. And unless they have a dominant match against Vulpix, you could just keep alignment. So that's why Shadow Oddish is so dangerous as the Razor Leafer here. Because you can choose to just shred through it. Like, same thing with Slowpoke. Shred through in the two shield, or you can sack it in the lead. Send in Vulpix to farm down. You come in with shield advantage, or you come in and you come in with energy, or you come in with energy with Vulpix to and Slowpoke to close out. So... Really solid. This is just sheer fast move damage like the last team, except the, yeah, this is just sheer fast, just sheer fast move damage. Except for the last one, you have Vulpix and Dupider. So Dupider, you kind of have double safe switch. So it's a much safer than this, much safer as far as like a lot of combinations. This one, you just try to shred through everything, especially since Cottony, Cottony is banned. You don't really have to worry about Cottony is banned. You don't have to worry about like seeing a ton of like charm users or anything like that even though oddish beats charm but then you know cottony has that bulk but you know even though shadow oddish doesn't have the bulk it's kind of what i'm trying to say is like cottony except without the bulk and it shreds through you like swiss cheese with razor leaf next up this is literally just a top three pokemon you have dupider lead chikorita shadow and vulpix as your safe switch so these are literally just top three up uh, top three top five mon combination and Vol Chikorita is actually still really good as a safe switch just because Grass Knot and Body Slam still do a lot of damage against a lot of combinations. And unless even against Dup so even if you get a Dupider switched into you. So here's what's going to happen. As you see, amazing coverage. Like I mentioned, everything in this meta does not have a lot of bulk. Good safety and consistency. So against Dupider versus Shadow Chikorita, if you look over here in the two shield, Dupider wins this matchup outright. So as you see, it's going to win it outright against Shadow Chikorita. But what you could do is you could choose to not to just give up the sh just give up. All right, don't shield, don't shield the bubble beam, and it's gonna come out. Yes, you Pyder will bubble beam whatever you have in your back row. So what's gonna happen here is that you send in Chikorita, and then what you can do is you can send in you Pyder to sponge the damage. So you can after you give up Chikorita because if it loses a switch against you Pyder, you can send in your own you Pyder. Farm it down, and then hopefully Vulpix can close out. 
In this instance, if you look on the sim, your opponent will have to give up two shields. So this is what happens here. If your opponent doesn't get, gives, get, doesn't give up both of their shields, or if they don't shield one, so you force yourself in the one shield, then you can farm down Dupider. Something's going to eat a bubble bean though, so just be careful. You could send in Dupider itself because Dupider can... Dupider can wall, not wall, but it will, Mirko doesn't do a lot of damage. So give up Chikorita if you have Dupider switched into you, force the one shield, and then after that, go ahead and send in your own Dupider, farm down, and then Dupider with a bunch of energy with Vulpix in the back might be able to close a win condition for you. Even though this team does feature top three, it's kind of not a little safe. It just depends on where Dupider is. If you can catch Dupider, if you catch Dupider on a Shadow Chikorita, I already showed you how to do it. Dupider does lose the one shield, so what you can do is if you get the mirror, you could force the one shield or just try to force the mirror, and then Chikorita wins the, wins the one shield, but in order for Chikorita to win the one shield, you have to bait with Body Slam and then Grass Knot. So this isn't really my go-to team. If you have these three, or if these are the only three you can build, go ahead, but it's, it's only solid as long as you know what you're kind of doing. So you can give up Dupider lead, you can send in Shadow Chikorita, you can sack it, but it's not as safe as I would say like if you sent in Vulpix for your save switch. So that's just what, if you send in Vulpix, send in Vulpix for your save switch, and then send in Dupider, and then hopefully Dupider and Shadow Chikorita in the closer can close out. So Shadow Chikorita is a solid closer, the only reason is just because of the fact this is like literal, not rock, paper, scissors, literal rock, paper, scissors, but this is fire beats water, water beats fire. I mean, grass beats, grass beats water, fire beats grass. So it's just like the triangle. This is like, yeah. So this isn't my go-to team, like I mentioned, but if these are the only three you have, or if you have Rekka Chikorita, this team is for you and can do very well. Just because Dupider solid in every single combination. Vulpix is gonna be your safe switch, or you could throw in Chikorita, but I showed you what happens if you have Chikorita versus Dupider, so. Dupider is going to get, you're going to see these things running around a lot unless someone really likes having slow pokes or like Shadow Razor Leafers just shredding it to death. All right, so for the last two teams, we're going to have ABB teams just because ABB is actually viable in this cup. This one I have Slugma, Seal, and Dupider. Slugma in the lead, Seal is your safe switch or Dupider, either one works. But the thing is, Slugma with Rock though is like the beast of it. it you know when the phrase throw your kitchen sink well that's exactly what slugma does except it chucks rocks a lot of rocks so slugma in the two shield can actually blast through dupa dupider and blast through per most of the meta except for whooper that's what's nuts about it and with it has a for coverage like a bulk and safety not gonna be high but if you look at it with dupider dupider gets smashed through because bug is weak to rock you smash through bulbasaur in the two shield so bulbasaur in the two shield gets smashed you smash through Fomantis, even see Seal in the two shield will win you out, right? But as you see here, what happens is that you can farm down Seal. So what you can give up Slugma, sack Slugma in in the one shield, because as you see, or slack Slugma in the lead, and then you can send in Seal to look down. That's something you can do. So outside of water types, Slugma rock throws through all of the fire types as well as well, except Dupider. So if Dupider starts becoming a really popular, Slugma is going to be the secret weapon of destruction. So Slugma is going to literally rock rock everyone's world. So it destroys most of it except for Ferroseed because Ferroseed still resists rock. So if they're outside, so Ferroseed is literally the only mon where you're kind of going to have an issue with this. Because what's going to happen here is that all you're going to you can give up, you can force the one shield. But fair, and then you can send, you could force a one shield and then send in one of your water types because Iron Head and Flash Cannon. But the thing about Ferro Seed is most Ferro Seeds won't actually be carrying their moveset. They'll have, they, yeah, well, they'll be carrying this moveset, but they don't have a, Ferro Seed doesn't have a grass moveset. So what you can do is you can sack Slugma, force the one shield, and then you can send in one of your water types, preferably do Piter because it's tankier. And then you could absorb, you could, well, don't, yeah. Whichever one you want, but like Seal or Dupider, and then you can just absorb the Iron Head or the move that comes in. So that's what you can do against Dupider. But yeah, Slugma is a beast. Seal and Dupider, it's kind of a dual safe switch in this thing, with the only thing being it's Punkaboo, Super Punkaboo. Just be, but the funny, what the weird thing is, is if you place the two shield against this thing, watch what happens. They, ha yeah, they win, but you give up one shield. But the problem is your back row is going to get seed bombed. 
to death. Well, it's not going to get Sivan because you still have a shield. So against the Punkaboo, by some reason, you do see one because it's actually it's actually pretty dang good. So Punkaboo, what happens if you see one, what you're going to do is you're going to give up. You can force the one shield, as you see here. So you could you could give up the shield and then send in Seal or Dupider to go ahead and farm down the Punkaboo and then just shield the incoming Grass Knot or Foul Play. So that's what you can do. But that's the typical strategy. Slugma, if it doesn't win, you stay switch and sealed your Pyder. Hopefully Slugma with two shields can just rock everyone's world. Because if you take out the water type, Slugma has free... If they only have one water type, you take out the water type, Slugma has free rate against a lot of the meta. Unless it's like they're holding a Pharaoh seed. That's literally it. But solid team, like I mentioned, Slugma is going to be going to ro the secret rock door of death in the Little Jungle Cup remix. Last but not least, we have Dupider, Vulpix, and Slugma. This team is very simple. So the two shield star shot, guess what? We're using that with Slugma. Dupider is your lead, Vulpix is your safe switch, and you're trying to save as many shields as you possibly can for Slugma in the back to just rock throw everything to oblivion. Like I mentioned to you, water types are your worst nightmare. So if we have Dupider, the best case scenario is Dupider gets landed, you, Dupider smacks down against Wooper. But the reason why Wooper, I don't think will be around too much is because you're going to see a ton of it's, you'll possibly see a ton of Razor Leafers in this cup. Just because Razor Leafers are factually in double Razor Leaf is going to be a nightmare. And this is why we have double fire. Because double Razor Leafers, guess what? If you have double Razor Leaf, guess what? Double fire. Simple as that. But we have the most powerful mod overall. Vulpix safe switch. Very consistent. Also still really good. And then you have Slugma to rock throw everything to Oblivion in the back. Believe it or not, this has better stats than a lot of the other teams. And as you see against all of against a lot of the overall meta... Dupider, this is a very powerful combination. With your only weaknesses being incredibly odd mons, as in Tortuga, Claw Launcher, and Tentacle. But mind you, this is the one shield, not the two shield scenario. So your worst matchup you're going to see is Dupider. If you get the mirror, force the mirror. And then like I mentioned, you can even, if you get the Dupider mirror in the two shield, you can even choose to give it up. Like both of your shields are going to end and then you can force the simultaneous KO. Or what you can do is that you can, before you die in this instance, you can give up switch and send in Slugma. So you could eat this, so you could eat the second bubble beam right here. You don't have to shield it. And then what you can do is that with that shield advantage, right before you die or right before they get it, you can send in Slugma to go ahead and just rock throw down the poor Dupider if they're too slow. So if you get the mirror, like I mentioned, don't shield the second bubble beam. If they shield both, they're... It's going to be weird, but when they get close to dying, send in Slugma and then just farm them down. And then Vulpix with, Vulpix with shield advantage or Vulpix and Slugma, your double fire can hopefully break the back row. So that's your strategy. But this team's really solid. It's I, I've used it against two of my friends and they're like, this is this team's annoying. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of annoying just because Slugma two shield strat is actually is we all I you know how much I hate charm. It's a freaking slugma, okay? I'll give some forgiveness because it's a freaking slugma. It, it, it's been two years, man. It's been two years. It's like the, it's like the Titanic Hulk. It's been 84 years. It's been two years and still SmackDown and all the other fast move ner moves haven't been nerfed. So here's the team. Dupider, Vulpix, Slugma. You lose the lead, switch to Vulpix, and then save, try to save as many shields as you can for Slugma in the back with two shields. And that's game. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. So Element Cup Remix is going to be bleh. Yeah. I hope y'all, yeah, bleh. Well, you don't really have a choice because you, unless you want open Master League, which to make, to go them into actually you playing Master League, it's triple dust for Master League, but I don't think y'all are like about that life unless you have all those bonds. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all, it, I hope you guys have, uh, it's really annoying because for Element Cup, yeah, it's Element Cup Remix. It's, yeah. A lot of you don't like fast move, cap, fast cap move metas, and I totally understand, and I don't know why we're being forced. I don't know by now, literally two years later, why we can't play all leagues. Literally. Let us play all leagues, and then you can have this one as much as you want. But it's what it is. Unfortunately, Go Bad League is still broken. They're trying to go us into buying stickers, and I hope y'all are just enjoying... <sighs> I hope y'all are actually... Oh, it's really painful. It really is. Anyways... I hope y'all are enjoying your season. We just literally have a little bit left. You have catch-up season light, and then it's season... It's literally season 13. So, 
If you are addicted, the madness is just going to continue. It's going to be the same thing over and over again. The definition of madness is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And I forgot who made that quote, but it's a very true quote. And unfortunately, with Niantic at the helm, that's literally what's going to be. What's going to be. But do me a huge favor. Please like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Good luck on your good balance sets, and I will see y'all on the next video.